Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to continue our discussion in random engineering board exam problem playlist. So this is problem number 31. So, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, so I hope that you will learn from this video. And if you learn from this video, I appreciate if you subscribe on this channel. So, this is a past board problem. Okay, under engineering mathematics. So, almost all engineering board exams. Okay, so merong mathematics. So, this problem is under algebra. So, this is... Uh, find the sixth term of the expansion, 1 over 2a minus 3 quantity raised to 16. Okay, so meron tayong formula for this guys. No? So don't worry, board exam ko. So we're going to rely on the formula of finding the art term of a binomial expansion. Because if you're going to expand this and then you find the sixth term, so it will take you a lot of time. So hindi siya advisable na gamitin sa board exam because may time constraint tayo. So, dapat mabilis tayo mag-sort. Okay, so let's dive into the formula. So, if our binomial expression is in the form x plus y quantity raised to n. Okay, in this case, as you can see, uh, this expression here, yung x natin, ito yung nire-represent niya, yung 1 over 2a, and then yung y natin, ito yung nire-represent niya yung negative 3. Uh, and of course, yung n natin, exponent is 16. Okay, so that is a binomial expression. So, ang formula natin to get the arc term is ito, no? So, arc term is equal to ncr minus 1. So, that's combination formula. So, n term, yung n natin dito is yung exponent as a combination taken r minus 1 at a time. Okay, so don't worry kasi ito, we will just directly input that sa calculator natin. May combination solver si Casio calculator natin. So, yung NCR minus 1 na yun is multiplied to x in given raised to n minus quantity r minus 1 times y raised to r minus 1. Yung y natin yung given expression din sa problem. So, sa mga libro guys, ang formula na ginagamit natin is R term equals. Ito ni-revise ko na lang siya para for me mas madali kasi itong tandaan. Uh, mas madali siyang tandaan as compared to this. And C R minus 1. So this is one expression. Okay, multiplied to X raised to N minus R plus 1. Y raised to R minus 1. So usually hindi ko, parang hindi ko uh, sinasama agad or hindi ko so usually iniisa kong expression si r minus 1 pero nakaparenthesis lang as you can observe here so pag tinanggal mo yung parenthesis syempre magiging positive to so magiging n minus r plus 1 to okay the reason why hindi ko siya sinisimplify as that na walang parenthesis because mas madaling tandaan na kapag ito naka r minus 1 naka r minus 1 so they are same expression uh, as compared to this, no, naka r plus 1 ito r minus 1. So, for me, minsan nakakalito siya. So, for me, ginagawa ko ganito na ito. Sa x, nakasubtract naka sa n. So, sa x, nakasubtract sa n yung r minus 1. And then, retain din yung r minus 1 kay y. So, for me, mas madaling uh, i-memorize siya. Okay, so let's solve this no, using the formula. So, dito, six term, di ba? So, 6 term equals ncr minus 1. Ano yung n natin dito? So, n equals exponent natin is 16. Okay? Yung r natin, syempre, is the 6th. Kasi 6 siya. Okay, 6 term. And then, we have x natin is eto 1 over 2a. And then, yung y natin is of course, is itong negative 3. So, 
lagi nyong i-include yung negative sign kapag may negative yung nanditong term kasi yung ating original term is naka-add siya. So whatever your sign there should be included. Okay, kung negative yon, negative 3 din dito. Okay, negative 3 siya. So uh, here uh, NCR ano yung n natin? n is 16. C r minus 1. So what is r minus 1? So r is 6. So r minus 1 is 5. So 6 minus 1 is 5. So 16C5 yeah. So this is uh, single expression. And then we have x natin is 1 over 2a raised to n minus quantity r minus 1 or that is n minus r plus 1. So ano yung n natin? n is 16 minus r which is 6 plus 1. Okay? And then yung y natin is negative 3. So it's negative 3 raised to r minus 1. So 6 minus 1. Ayan. So ayan. basically guys, simplify na lang natin. Then we have the answer. So 6 term equals. So let's go to the calculator. Ayan. So sa calculator natin guys, lagay lang natin. No? So 16 c. So shift divide. C5. Okay. So, ito kasi, negative 3 raised to 6 minus 1, constant din siya. So, isama na natin siya kay 16C5. Okay. Multiply na natin siya dito. So, that is negative 3. So, times negative 3 raised to 6 minus 1. Okay. Isama na natin siya kasi siya ay uh, constant din. And so you have this negative 1061424. Negative 1061424 times this expression here. Okay. So this one can be expressed as so 16 minus 6, that's 10 plus 1, so 11. Okay, so at the i 1 over 2a raised to 11. So, negative 106144. And then, ito, isolate lang natin. No? So, basically, you just distribute the exponent to the numerator and denominator. So, this becomes 1 raised to 11 over 2a raised to 11. Okay. And then, we simplify this. So, negative 106144. Divided by, so, 2 raised to 11. Okay? 1 over, so, 1 raised to 11 is 1. A raised to 11. Okay, so, let's just rewrite that. So, A raised to 11. Okay, so, ito, simplify na lang natin sa calculator. Okay, divided by 2 raised to 11. Okay, i-post lang natin. So, we have this. No? Negative 6, 6, 3, 3, 9 over 1, 2, 8. Negative 6, 6, 3, 3, 9 over 1, 2, 8. Of course, you have here A raised to 11. Okay, so that is the final answer for this problem. Ayan, so ganun lang guys. No? You just follow the formula. And then, of course, dapat uh, tama yung mga sinasubstitute natin. And then, of course, kailangan natin siyang mas, mas simplify so that we'll get the final answer. Okay, so this formula will be very useful for you. So it's either you memorize this one here or this one here. So it's up to you, no? Kung ano yung gusto mong gamitin. So for me, mas preferred to see number one kasi siya yung mas madaling memorize because common term common term so mas madaling tandaan kapag parehas okay so that's it guys for today's video i hope that you have learned from this and of course i really appreciate if you subscribe on this channel thank you guys for watching this video and see you on my next video